All right, turning back now to the war in the Middle East, where Israel's military says it has surrounded the home of a key Hamas leader. He's believed to be the mastermind of the October 7th attacks. Israel has prioritized targeting him during their offensive on southern Gaza amid a growing humanitarian crisis. The IDF has been unrelenting in its bombardment on the region. It's where many civilians had initially fled to when the war began. Our Charlie Daggett is following the latest. The southernmost border town of Rafa was considered one of the safer places in Gaza. Now engulfed in Israel's unrelenting march to conquer the entire territory. And this is Rafa this morning. Hamas health officials have updated the overall death toll in Gaza to more than 16,000, adding one more little girl to that total today. Inside a hospital in the southern city of Khan Yunus, frightened 11-year-old Saba Magnum desperately searches for her father and siblings. She says they were all inside a school that got hit. <laughs> then the sheer relief when she finds everyone alive and they're reunited. Outside, the Israeli military says its ground forces are in the heart of the city, said to be a Hamas HQ and home to the alleged mastermind of the October 7th massacre, Yahya Sinwar. Hunting down terrorists like Sinwar was once the role of a former commander of elite special forces, Doran Avital. Could he be there? So I'm not sure what to think about Sinwar, whether he will be fighting to his death or whether he sneaked out. <clears throat> And tonight marks the first night of Hanukkah, less a time of celebration this year than a period of hope and reflection, including events that shine a light on the fate of the hostages still held captive by Hamas. Emery? So, Charlie, I, I thought that was such a great question about Yahya. Would he be there? Because that's what I thought. They've surrounded his home. Is he, is he he's still even there? But can we talk about what capturing this figure, this Hamas figure, would mean for Israel's overall objective which is to knock um to knock uh, sorry uh, to knock hamas out yes well prime minister benjamin netanyahu actually came on television last night and said that the home was surrounded uh that's his family home now the likelihood that he'd be anywhere around there he certainly would have gone to ground literally in this case in the network of tunnels or he could have slipped away because those tunnels are porous when it goes to places like Egypt and other areas. Um, when we spoke to Mossad um, intelligence, former Mossad intelligence chiefs, they say there are areas that they could get to and get from. So the likelihood that he's there, that's an open question and one that won't be answered. Now, in terms of dismantling both Sinwar uh, and the entire Hamas leadership, um, that will be a turning point as far as the Israelis are concerned, but they'll have to be satisfied that that's happened. Because remember, the, the stated goal of this offensive, this wasn't about retaliation or retribution, it was about the total destruction of Hamas. Mm -hmm. So that would include Sinwar and the entire Hamas leadership, which they believe, because they cleared out that area in the north and in the central part of Gaza, they believe that Hamas leadership is now centered around that southern strip, which is why the attacks are continuing. Okay, and then what of the civilians? We pointed out that a lot of the civilians were told to and went to the southern part of Gaza. Um, I imagine that's where whatever aid came in, that's where the aid went as well. All of that must have ground to a halt. What's going on with the civilians? There are several complications in that region. First and foremost, about four-fifths of the population in this already densely populated territory are all now crowded in that area. They're also under attack. You saw in that report that Rafa, that's the crossing, you remember, that's where people come in and out of toward Egypt. That has been bombarded repeatedly. So getting aid or anybody else in from that area um, is dangerous even for the aid workers themselves. And now you have a highly concentrated area where the UN has called it apocalyptic, catastrophic. Um, they say that over the course of the next few days, you're going to have this densely populated, essentially it's this massive refugee camp of almost two million people that will be running out of food. They're going to have sanitation issues, medical aid. None of the hospitals are working. So there are several different things 
complicating the situation. Now, the Israelis are saying that they are delivering some aid. They're traveling from the uh, northern part of the Strip to central part of the Strip. But Hamas health officials and certainly the U.N. said this isn't anywhere near enough um, to provide for the people who are in desperate, desperate need. All right, Charlie, thank you very much.